Hello there, students. In this video, we're going to tackle an advanced topic, and as such, I'm going to go a bit fast over the map. It'll still all be on screen, so pause when and if you want to follow it. The problem is a basic one for a graduate classical mechanics course. A cone spinning on its tip. We want to find two things, the center of mass, mainly just for fun and to ease into integration, and then the full inertia tensor for the cone. The cone has a radius capital R, height h, and half angle alpha. First, we identify the volume of the cone, capital V. Then, with the definition of density as total mass, capital M, over volume, we get this for our cone density. We will also write our position vector in cylindrical coordinates using r, theta, and z. Then the square or dot product of this vector produces this form, where the unsimplified equation is useful later. Also useful later is the definition of tangent of alpha, which is equal to the capital R over h. Now onto the map. We'll start by finding the center of mass. Since the cone is symmetric in the x and y directions, so is its mass distribution, making the center of mass in the x and y coordinates simply at the origin. The only center of mass coordinate we need to calculate then is the z component. To find the center of mass along this coordinate, we integrate along the coordinate z times the density over mass and through the entire volume of the cone dv. Our z limits go from 0 to the height h, our radial limits go from 0 to z tangent of alpha, and our angular limits go from 0 to 2 pi. Working our integrals from right to left, we get our result for where the center of mass lies on the z-axis. Now we move on to finding the inertia tensor for this cone. The general equation we use to do this is here, for the ith row and the jth column as indices of our inertia tensor. Let's start with the element in the first row and the first column, or ixx. The integral will look like this. Solving the integrals from right to left, making a trigonometric substitution along the way for sine squared, then substituting in r over h for tangent of alpha, and then the density of the cone, we simplify it to find this result for ixx. The integral for iyy is very similar, and in fact we get the same result as ixx if one were to carry out the integration. You could also try and calculate all of the off-diagonal terms for this matrix, where the index i does not equal the index j, and you would find that they are equal to zero. Then, there is only one element of the matrix left to calculate, izz. The integration setup looks like this, which we solve right to left. After making the substitutions for tangent of alpha and the density rho again, we have this simplified result for izz. We have now calculated every element of the inertia tensor, so let's put it into its matrix form. That's it for this video, just a quick center of mass and inertia tensor calculation. Thanks for watching and learning about physics. If you have any questions or want to see a specific topic, leave a comment below or head over to my Facebook page in the video description.